What is up everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog and today's vlog is also gonna be about cars but since we went to a Russian dealership we thought why shouldn't we go over to Chinese dealerships like Geely and Jack to check out what sort of cars they have for sale and how much they cost compared to the Lada. So let's go and check out if the Chinese cars are gonna be cheaper and better quality than the Russian one. We got Evelina right here by Geely. She's ready to go in. Let's go and check it out. They're open until 10 p.m. Oh, look at this. This is like Volvo, but Chinese. So let's go check it out. You could see some people are wanting to purchase some cars, so we're not gonna be coming over to them. We're gonna be checking out some Chinese cars and to see how much they actually cost. So this is a Geely Cool right here. You could see straight away that the Geely uh, place actually looks way better than the Lada one because the Lada one just looks horrible. And they don't sell spare parts here, which is a good sign that the cars might be actually good. So let's see, we got a Geely right here that starts from $20,000. Oh wow, this one is actually $30,000. And uh, let's see, it has a 1.5 liter engine and 150 horsepower, which is already way better than the Lada stuff. So basically you're paying like five or $6,000 more than for a Lada. And you also get a completely different feel of the car because first of all, you have electric windows in the back and in the front. This is how the interior looks like. Let's check it out. I'm not gonna be asking anybody, this is my car now. Let's see, what do we got here? It says something about how to service the car. But I mean, literally this looks and feels way better than a Lada. Would you pay a few thousand dollars more to get yourself a Chinese car, which is basically Volvo, kind of. Look at this. It has an automatic gear shifter. Evelyn, а что ты думаешь? Я сравнивал Лада с китайскими машинами. Эта машина на 400-500 тысяч дороже Лады. На мой взгляд, она чуть-чуть лучше, но выглядит также отвратительно. Obviously, Evelyn isn't going to like this car, but look at this has a panoramic roof in it. And you know what? Like, it, it feels way, way better than the Lada stuff. I mean, would you pay a little bit more and get yourself a decent car? I don't know, let's check out how the, it looks like on the outside a little bit and in the back seats. So this is how it looks like from the back. It has a little spoiler, has some cool looking exhausts here. I mean, this is overall way better than a flipping ladder. Look at this. You don't have to be using that thing to put the windows down. Could you imagine? This is all feeling actually nice. Way better than the ladder. I don't even know how to explain it, but I mean, literally you have little things like cup holders in the back, which are made so that you could actually put your cups in the back. Thank you very much. So we're gonna check out if we are going to be able to find a car that is really close to the price range of a Lada. Let's check out some places, some cars. Oh, let's check out this Geely M Grand. Looking fancy, I wonder how much does this cost? Before we check it out, tell me in the comment section below, how much do you think this car costs? Okay, so this car costs $26,000, it has 122 horsepower engine, 1.5 liter, front wheel drive, but you could get the car, it's starting from $18,000. So let's see, what does this car has to offer us? I mean, this is very close to the price range of the Ladas, like literally very, very close, but it is something way different. First of all, it looks bigger, looks nicer, the design looks a bit better, in my opinion. But let's check out the interior. That's like one of the most important things you could check out in the car. So let's open it up and check out this flipping car right here. Obviously, this cannot compare to any ladders. Look at this. It's got some white seats inside of it. Look how it looks like. It actually looks very flipping nice. Let's have a seat and check it out. 
<laughs> Evelina is actually liking this car. I need to move. Is the electric seats working? Yes, it is. So I moved back a little bit. Let's check out this car. So first of all, I would like to say that there's a screen there and a screen here. All of this actually feels very nice. You could actually put something in here. The cup holders are here. So it's like in the ladder, these put cup holders here. So Evelina is pointing out that the trim is very, very straight, which is also a good sign. Look at those buttons. They feel nice. All in general, I mean, the steering wheel feels very nice. It's actually made with leather. The buttons in the ladder, they look horrible and feel horrible. Here you got some nice buttons that has heated steering wheel and all the stuff that you need in this flipping car. Also, you got yourself a sunroof. They have not invented that in ladders yet whatsoever. To a big surprise, you also have a flipping mirror. Anyways, I think I think this car is is good way better than a lot of look at the seats they're actually very comfortable I'm sitting completely comfortable and also the salespeople are getting a bit nervous of me walking around and filming wow let's check out the back row of seats in this car now you know what i'm actually starting to like geely geely looks nice and this is me moved back fully back so now you could actually sit down here it doesn't have anywhere to put cup holders oh, wow the quality of the paint though that's that's paint coming off see i don't know about that it looks nice but the paint is coming off for some reason i don't know why maybe it was in an accident but this is a uh Oh no, that's that's the, the polishing paste. That's the polishing paste. Because they had to polish the car. So it'll be in the showroom. They didn't wash it up right. Anyways, let's check out this uh, Geely Tugela. By the way, guys, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just checking out the prices. This is way more expensive. This is like $40,000 right here. What engine does it have? It's got a two liter engine, 238 horsepower. So yeah, this is how it looks like. It looks something like a BMW X6 or something like that from the outside. We could see it right here. I don't know. A lot of people actually like them. A lot of people purchase them. So let's check out how the interior looks like. And you know what? From me looking at it, it actually doesn't look that bad whatsoever. Let's have a seat. Wow, look at this. It has a projection. Well, what is the story of it being so low, the steering wheel? How does the steering wheel go up? Anyways, this has a panoramic roof. And I'm pretty sure you have to do it like this, but it doesn't work. But there's a panoramic roof here. And uh, yeah, I mean, for $40,000, you could buy a used Cadillac. 2016 or something but what surprised me the most is that it has bose audio system inside very flipping nice not bad i mean this is way better than lada a bit more expensive but i mean wouldn't you rather overpay a little bit and drive in a decent looking car me buying a lada to drift around does not count whatsoever whatsoever it does not count. Oh wait guys, I was wrong. You could buy some extra parts for your Geely, but uh, all of that stuff is basically just add-ons. So you have like uh, protectors for the engine bay and stuff like that. Just some random stuff. It's not even like parts. It's like holders. And, you know, if you're a big fan of Geely Manjaro, you could buy yourself a hat. Very nice. Anyways, let's check out there's a few other cars they're pretty much the same actually we, we checked out that car but we could just see the price because the car we checked out was over there i wonder what is the price going to be on this one so it's twenty eight thousand dollars 
and uh, i'm pretty sure in one of the vlogs before i've actually sat in this car but i mean seriously it's better to spend a little bit more money and actually get yourself a geely and then a flipping lada that's how it looks like anyways let's check out a jack dealership which is close to the flipping dealership here see if it's any good whatsoever and compare because i'm pretty sure that geely is one of those car brands that the prices could be a little bit higher because this is basically volvo what uh, evelina noticed in the geely dealership is that when they saw a guy coming in with a camera they're all just like you know talking to each other saying oh look it's a flipping youtuber he's gonna be recording everybody's hiding funnily enough we went to a lot dealership they're like you can go to the second floor and check out some other cars so geely looks nice but the dealership workers i don't know about that maybe they had a bad day or something anyways we came over to jack dealership and we're going to be checking out this chinese brand and you know what from the looks of it i think it's going to be way more expensive than the ladders but why not let's check it out let's see what we got here in the jack so it looks like they're actually quite big suvs so you got a gs8 jack which starts at forty thousand dollars rasta this is a very big suv i mean this is like the size of i don't know i wouldn't say an escalade but like a range rover or something like that which is very flipping big i don't know about the design a lot of people like it but i think it's a little bit outdated on the light right here forty thousand dollars guys i mean i don't know you could buy a 2016 escalade or a brand new jack which will be under warranty is it open yes it is let's see what's inside of it now this looks way better than the cars we were looking at i think this is a bit better than geely it actually has a screen a nice looking steering wheel inside let's have a look let's check it out Ooh. yeah evelina actually likes this car you're gonna shut up or what thank you very much thank you very much anyways from the looks of it i mean it looks way fancier than the other cars we were looking at also the price range is for forty thousand dollars but one of the last geelys we looked at it was also forty thousand dollars so i don't know if i was to get that geely in the other dealership or this jack i would actually go for this jack because it actually is first of all huge i like big cars and uh, the materials it feels like i'm in a toyota or a lexus it's actually quite nice i like it has uh, three rows of seats just like the escalade and uh, yeah, it just feels nice but yeah very nice also this looks like a mercedes over here very nice oh panel приборов могут включить вот это я понимаю so that nice uh, gentleman right there said that he could turn on the dashboard so we could actually check out this dashboard over here let's see so this nice gentleman is gonna turn on the dashboard so we could actually see how it looks like oh. Ooh, look at this guys this actually looks pretty cool look at the animations here this is how it looks like wow this is actually not that bad oh you got the radio let's turn on the sound where is the sound here we go here we go i've noticed it so i don't even know to be honest with you do i like the multimedia system it looks a bit outdated but you know what it looks very nice i would actually like something like this now let's check out the back row a little bit see how it is what's in here some cup holders that actually look nice and a bmw style flipping thing here to put your documents and stuff very flipping nice i'll turn off 
Here we go. I turned it off. This dealership is very nice. What I want to check out is the back row and see how it is. Oh, look at this. This looks, this actually looks very nice. There's a bit of dirt here, but uh, this material feels very nice. And this is not the top tier um, model. So we're going to check out a model which is a bit more fancier. Oh, so you get the key to the color of the car. Получается, когда человек покупает машину у вас, цвет ключа под цвет машины. Нет, там они как-то по-разному, то есть комплект ключей идет изумрудный и черный. А, например, в той машине, которую мы сейчас пойдем, там был изумрудный и белый. Сейчас посмотрите. У них такая а так вообще люди скептически относятся, когда машины сейчас покупают, вот Джак, допустим, да? Потому что китайские машины как-то наводнили вообще рынок. Они наводнили, например, вот той марки, которую сейчас заходили в да. Джили, мы занимаемся с 2018 -го года, ага. и она стала уже популярность завоевывать ближе. Но Джили это Вольво, да? Да, и популярность они в основном стали, знаете, как-то уже боязнь прекратилась году к 20 вот так, к 21 вообще уже так хорошо. Ну, а, получается, это полностью по факту Volvo, просто... Это платформа CMI, uh -huh. и это платформа как раз, которая была разработана Volvo совместно с Geely. Geely – это финансы, uh -huh. а Volvo, которая в свое время почти была бы банкротом в 10 году, uh -huh. это технология. А GAC – это компания, которая принадлежит именно... А, -а, -а. Да. то есть это прям это государственная компания. Вот. И она изначально выпускала такие машины, как Honda, Toyota, Mitsubishi. А -а -а. То есть фактически это японец. Здесь хондовский двигатель, здесь классическая коробка, автомат. Кстати, вот можете сфотографировать сейчас. Тормозная система у нас немецкой компании ZF. Смотрите. Oh, so guys, right now we're actually being taken over to a parking lot where we're going to be checking out a very good model of uh, the GAC vehicle. I was saying Jack, but that was wrong. It's actually GAC because Jack is the one that uh, Moskvich actually built. So it's GAC. Flipping Sinzi Pin makes those cars by hand. Oh, look, a bunch of Volvos. It is some traded in cars a bunch of Volvos это любит что-то такое дополнительное от обычного вот мы сделали покраску черной крыши рейлинги но это уже такой стиль Range Rover we're in the parking lot pre-ordered cars now oh my god look at this color oh my god Wow, look at this color, guys. Честно говоря, я даже не ожидал. Она прям так стильно выглядит с таким цветом. Изумрудным, реально. Guys, what do you think about this color? Now, this actually looks very flipping cool. Oh my God, the color of this. Crazy. как у дракона то есть у них стилистика получается это драконье а -а -а. so guys could you imagine the style of this car is fully into the chinese car i didn't even look at the back completely look at the amount of cars here it's not even funny oh look at this oh wow even lights here даже подсветка есть такая Wow, look at this. Oh yeah, that is a Chinese type of style going here. Guys, look at the interior itself. Doesn't this actually look nice? It even has, looks like the back seats are for people to sit down and be driven. So it does a show that you could do with a bit of music and also at the back, you could hear the music. The lights are dancing around. Imagine doing this during a traffic light. You could see it's literally dancing. This is pretty cool. I mean, I like the new cars. They have features like this. It's very cool. Wow. 
very flippin' nice. You can see the color of the key is the same color as the car itself. Well, guys, I am surprised by this gag dealership and I'm so, oh my God, it's lashing outside. Anyways, I'm really surprised. I'm running over to the car right now. And on Saturday, we might even come here for a test drive of the GAC to see how it is. So we came to do a review and now we're going for a test drive to check it out and see how it's gonna be. Let's flip it around to the car. Woo, lashing. So me and Evelina made ourselves after going to the Chinese dealership to some restaurant with all sorts of food which is probably going to be bad but we're going to try it out anyways it's called tokyo city it's not really japanese but that's the name of it you get to order stuff on this thing right here so we'll see how it is i ordered myself a burrito on a place called tokyo city what could go wrong now guys tell me what do you guys think would you buy yourself a brand new Chinese SUV like we looked at for $40,000. Now be honest, in the comment section below, if you had $40,000 to spend on a car, would you buy a used car or a brand new J I I don't know, what would I do? I actually have no idea, but I think that I would buy a used American truck. Wow, you could even play games. You could see how much we're gonna spend, $11. Are you flipping nice? Looks like Evelina is doing the reviewing of the restaurant. Let's see. How do we know if we ordered? I have no idea. But it said we did. Oh, salads. Salads. Oh, you could get drunk for five dollars. For three, three, five. Five dollars and fifty cents. You could get hammered for five dollars. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, some good price to get hammered. This is a good place, I'd say, for people from universities coming in, getting absolutely whacked off their faces with a bit of chicken, burritos, and alcohol drinks. Is basically a cheap place where everybody could have a bit of food, which is great. But now we will see the quality of this food and see if it's any good. I'll tell you by the burrito. I'm a burrito expert. I watched enough Netflix to know how to see if a burrito is good. Or if it's not, we will have to send the cartel after the cook. Evelina is really looking into the menu to see what she wants to eat. Evelina wants to play a game. <laughs> this place is so Asian that you could get yourself a ramen with beef and at the same time borscht with beef. You could get yourself some kimchi and you could get some uha. Wow. Everybody could get a bit of food. So this is a place called Tokyo City. I'm not even joking. Look, it says Tokyo City, enjoy. What is going on? At least they have Tommy Yami, it says. Very nice. Having a cup of coffee, waiting for my burrito. Because like a real professional, you got to get yourself some burritos, which is Mexican food over at a supposedly Asian restaurant. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be telling me about my haircut. I'm gonna get my haircut tomorrow, hopefully. Guys, I'm actually scared to try this burrito because it looks like it's being reheated or something like that. It doesn't even look like a burrito, but let's have a try of it. Let's see if it's any good. This reminds me of a uh, thing that I ate at a gas station. This burrito reminds me of that. It's not bad, but it's a frozen burrito that they heat up. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have eat this. Evelyn is gonna have a bit of that sushi. I don't know, we'll see. They don't look well, so Evelyn is gonna try it out. Oh, it's tasty. Well, guys, I've arrived over back to the house. Just did a live stream. We did it for like one and a half hours. It was absolutely great. We had like the best chats ever. Now, a lot of people were asking me, how do I get into the live stream? Well, basically the thing is, right? I do them randomly. So 
I don't know. I don't know. I never planned the live streams. It's just the way it is. Now, a topic that I really wanted to talk about right now is that the fact that a lot of people are literally hating on each other for absolutely no reason. And that really disappoints me because I believe that no matter where the person is from, people should be loving each other, talking with each other, not hating. Because with all the hate going around the world right now, at the moment, it is just unbelievable how people who don't even know each other or never seen each other can call each other enemies. It is just unbelievable. And I really hope that we as a community at least could change this. And you might. So what I was trying to say there is that uh, I think we should all be nice to each other and stop the hate and negativity between each other. The only people that could change this world is us. So let's try our best to do that and be nice to each other. Be nice to your family members. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to anybody. And uh, if you're nice to each other, the world is going to be better. And this way we could actually do something in this world because... This world is going to be crap if we're not going to be nice to each other. So thank you very much for watching this video. I have no idea why my recording abruptly stopped and I just noticed it during editing. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below. Love every single one of you and you guys are the absolute best. See you later.